so here we are inside of Adobe Audition and uh, this I was thinking of doing a comparison between this and Reaper but I'll probably do that at some point um, it does some of the same things it has a multi-track view right now we're in the editor view which let's see uh, there's no recent files I'll just have to pull up something uh, anyway so this is the edit view you can do things inside of it like work on a, a waveform by itself I'm gonna find one randomly I hope <laughs> uh, no it's this one there we go and we'll just drop this in And you can work on stuff there. Then multi-track is kind of like I showed with the different tracks inside of Reaper. But um, what I wanted to focus on right now is the CD burning capabilities, uh, mostly because I have a project to be burned. So um, let's see. Where did I put that? I think it's in here. And. It is in there. I'm gonna have to search it. I think yeah, this is the one. Let's, let's test it. is the one so I'm going to bring that in and get rid of that okay so now if you hit there's no there are a couple ways to get to this um, you can either go here and click on it um, or you can use a keyboard shortcut 8 which it shows I'm just gonna click on it since we're already here and then I am going to bring this in About 14 times. And I did this for uh, for someone, and uh, it worked the first time. And then I went to Nero, which is another burning software that I use, and I did that. But for some reason, it was not playing. So uh, on the CD player, I should have tested it, <laughs> you know. But it said it was su successful. Anyway, I'm going on a hunch that it will work inside of Audition. So I don't know how much this is talked about with Audition because primarily um, it's used to edit audio to video and of course you can do full audio productions with it like uh, radio productions and here in the layouts let's see uh, mixing and mastering and analysis loudness restoration so on and so forth uh, but this is a, a helpful feature because if it if you're all about that uh, physical media, then this is something that you'll find really helpful to have all in one uh, program rather than having to go to an external one like uh, Nero, like I did. So um, here you have the tracks, and then you can adjust this time right here, which is the uh, amount of uh, seconds in between tracks. Now, um, if you're doing something like uh, um, audio drama you might put this to zero uh, s simply because uh, I've forgotten how to edit that setting there's probably a couple ways but uh, because sometimes you want to have it flow smoothly the, uh, the reason you would set it to zero that is is because you'd want it to flow smoothly in between when it's music like this is you may want that lead in so there's a little extra silence or not it depends on what you're doing and you can adjust them individually to zero and so just in case you have one song that carries over into another or something like that so we'll just leave it at the default and we will go to burn to CD I've not rebooted your computer since uh, yesterday. yeah I have rebooted it so uh, 
uh, write speed 48 that's good that's the correct burner one copy let's uh, let's verify it and we'll go ahead and uh, click OK and uh, you see that it is preparing So Audition has come a long way since I started with it. I started with version 1, <laughs> and this is version, uh, I probably can't do this right now, or maybe I can, let's see. Uh, no, 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 I didn't really want help, I wanted uh, about Audition, where is that? Ah, there we go. Okay, this is uh, build 10. Alright. Okay. So, I started with 1, so been through 10 versions <laughs> um, and this is the one that I have to learn the most because I've been away from it for a while using Reaper because of the MIDI capabilities that Audition doesn't have but everything else about it I like I've done uh, sound design with it and the I have to say the stock effects are the best quality that I've heard so far. I haven't played around with Pro Tools effects that much. Um, or uh, or Ableton's effects. But again, well, let's, let's put it this way. When you have something that you understand how it works very well, um, it isn't really necessary to go and learn something else just because it's industry standard now. If you do want to work with industry standard stuff, although this is kind of industry standard in the, I guess, the Adobe uh, suite, if you're working with Premiere, you can edit your audio for your video project in here. Um, but the fact is, if if you um, if you wanted to work with industry standard stuff like share Pro Tools sessions, you would need to learn Pro Tools, and I I may go on to just learn the basics so I can at least open the session but I think most of my production will still be done within uh, either Audition or Reaper um, because I know the tool set and it's not so much guessing uh, it, it's just um, producing without thinking about how do I do this or how do I do that I know how the, the effects work so the thing that's changed I think is the layout that's what's changed the most the uh, the effects as I look through them they're basically the same as when I first used them we have a, our amplitude and compression they're all categorized delay and echo uh, diagnostics uh, mark audio looks like a new one uh, filter we have our FFT filters and our graphic equalizer yeah, parametric equalizer uh, Modulation, noise reduction, reverb, special, where you have this effect I really like. I use this when uh, trying to do my own mastering because it uh, it does that thing where it, does, it, it makes it wider and does the highs and lows. And I'm still learning how to, uh, all the different uh, tricks to do this, but there's a... Uh, it's, it adds a really nice sound to the finished uh, mixes that I've done from Reaper, so I'll always have a need for this, even if I'm not doing all of my music in it. But yeah, but, uh, here we have uh, this thing, which I've used a little bit, and then we have our time and pitch. Okay, so I, I had a lot of fun with the uh, the stretch. Um, feature because one of the one of my favorite audio dramas had a uh, uh, it was Pilgrim's Progress a, a version of it audio and uh, Giant Despair was done with a stretch and pitch thing so he sounded very 
lord I, you know something like that it's uh, it's a unique effect and you can affect the pitch without affecting the tempo and you can affect the tempo without affecting the pitch so that's that's why that's really hence the stretch and pitch um, and bender is kind of interesting it'll bend things up and down there's even an effect called squirrely here you have your VSTs which are in this case it will be VST effects because like I said you don't have the ability to do MIDI inside of Audition they, they did that briefly I'm not sure why they took it out but uh, they did okay we don't I wanted that to come out okay so the CD is burned and now what I want to do is put it back in and uh, listen to it <laughs> to make sure it worked. Okay. Now, this is a computer, so of course it would play. I I'm going to go ahead and burn the same project in Nero and see if that also works. But uh, that's been basically a, a quick look at the uh, the CD editor. I think it's called. Let's see it again. Yeah, CD editor. Oops. <laughs> it's running all over the place here. CD editor inside of Adobe Audition CC 2017. And uh, I will do some more videos on Audition hopefully soon. So, thanks for watching.